if you part of the Godot community, you've probably seen some of these screenshots before, um, particularly these ones on X, if you are on X. Um, these are by Passive Star, um, a well-known community member in the Godot community, and he's been doing some really cool stuff. Now, this blog post of his is pretty much dated to 2024 December. Right now, we're in 2025, the 1st of June, so the first of the first month of June 2025. So it's been quite a long time since this post was um, made, this blog post was made. But I just thought, you know what, since I'm only seeing it now, how about I just try and replicate this lighting in Godot myself and see just how far we can get with that. And basically just show you guys how easy it is to do this in Godot. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. So on this blog post, by the way, he does provide the GLTF file. So you guys can just yank that up and download it and um, just import it in Godot. So I already have it imported and I've already set it up in my Godot viewport um, just to save some time because I don't want to make a long ass video um so yeah all right so now that we have this set up um that's um bake so all you need to do is basically just have a light map gi node um you know what in fact let me just show you guys how to add it <laughs> how to add it um it's really simple just click on your root node or you don't even have to but um yeah so just go and search for light map gi and just add it and boom there you go you have it right and when you click bake right now it's going to require you to create a node uh, bake file i already have one so i'm just going to overwrite it um and then from there boom now you have a different um looking environment now the reason why it looks this way probably when you have it it might look like this right like this you see the difference in lighting is because you have the environment preview turbo turned on right um and also maybe maybe um for those who didn't turn off the gizmos you probably might have these little guys all over the scene <laughs> and you might be asking yourself what in the world is going on here <laughs> right so if you're seeing this right here um it's okay it's normal it's just a gizmo so all you gotta do is just go down to view gizmos and turn off the light mode probe gizmos uh i mean the light map gi gizmos and just turn them off right probably there's a shortcut but that's the long way to do it um and then once you've done that you basically have the scene right here now this is close enough to what we have right here right however if you look closely um, we have some light bleed, particularly over here at this um, top corner here and also there by the edges over there. So I could just zoom in just so you guys can see this better. Um, let me just tilt my camera. There we go. All right, so you can see we have a little bit of a bleed here. Um, it's an artifact and we have another one over there, right? So if you look very closely down here on the edge, right we have this little light bleed over there so now we can fix that and i'm going to show you guys how to fix that is a pretty easy fix um all you have to do is just click on your light map gi and then go to the tweaks um <laughs> sub tab right here and um just go all the way down to text or scale right it, right now it's currently at one so all you want to do is just bump that up to two right and once you bump it up to two just take a look at what happens to that light bleed and that light bleed down there so just gonna rerun that again and boom it's gone right so the taxol scale helps with light bleeds minimum light bleeds it can go all the way up um but i'm just gonna keep it here or i can just take it all the way to four maybe and then we can also change our bounces right here maybe turn it to five and um, just rebake our scene and when we do rebake our scene, we'll see some little improvements, some little differences in our lighting and everything else. So this is how it looks like right now after changing those two little settings. And if I just turn on the world <coughs> environment preview, this is how it looks like. Um, you guys can uh, basically play around with that and see the differences. And then the other thing that we're gonna tweak also here is the denoise uh, strength. So right now it's at 0 0.1. I'm gonna bump that up to 0 0.2 and then just bake and um we should get a fairly good scene um essentially now um and um yeah there we go so technically we have basically just sort of like um replicated the scene that we have right 
here right now of course you we can improve the quality further by essentially just setting our settings to this so we can set the textile scale to 8 the bounces to 10 and the denoiser to 0 0.2 which we've already done and then we can also turn the quality all the way up to ultra and then when we do all that we will get something like this now i could do all that but it's just gonna take a while to bake and i don't want to have a long video <laughs> so i'm just gonna set everything to those values apart from the um quality so instead of turning it to ultra i'm just gonna leave it at medium um mainly because it's gonna take a bit of time to bake on my machine and i don't have the patience for that <laughs> unfortunately so um yeah let me just speed up this one and i'll show you guys the result All right, so everything is baked, and um, this is what we have so far. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with this. And um, the another thing that we can do also is change the emissiveness of the um, emissive materials right here. I already have a scene that we've added edit it to basically change the color to something like blue um so for this to showcase this real quick i'm just gonna drop down the bounces back to three and um also the textile scale back to two um just so we can have baking pretty relatively quickly just so you guys can see the difference here um you can actually have different values for your emissive lights and um, it will just react and uh ensure that your scene is lit up based on those lighting conditions that you've basically set on your emissive materials so um yeah that is it for this video um there isn't really much to it um it's fairly simple um right now we just did the indoor scene i might just do a video showing you guys how to do the outdoor scenes um just let me know if you really want to see that but the, the process is simply just the same thing um yeah the process is literally just the same and um if you really want to get into details you guys can just check out this blog post i'll have it in the description and you guys can just see what you have to do to do the outdoor scene and um how to light that up and um have everything work the way that you want it to work so if you guys enjoyed this video do hit that like and subscribe button i'm really trying to grow this channel and i hope you enjoy this one che cheers <laughs> yeah, I need to work on my outro.